In this video, we'll be going through the process of creating a toggleable and persistent dark mode using Riverpod in a Flutter app from start to finish. So stay with me. Let's get started. First, we need to add Riverpod to the pub spec of the project. I prefer to use it in combination with Flutter hooks to reduce the boilerplate code. For example, we use this sample code with a simple switch to toggle between light mode and dark mode manually. As you can see inside Material App, we have declared already different themes for light mode and dark mode. To fix these two errors, let's create a file named app theme. Now here we define a class called app theme. We have two themes in this app, light theme and dark theme, so I define them like this. You can set other configs or define other themes. Now we import the app theme file to fix these errors. This would already be enough to support dark mode and switch theme when user activates dark mode in the device settings. But we want to go a step further and give the user the option to enable or disable night mode using switch widget. Let's continue with the integration of Riverpod. First, we need to add provider scope to the root of our app that stores the state of the providers. Then we have to make a choice which provider we want to use. State notifier provider. Provider that holds one state and rebuilds listening widgets automatically once the state changes. Change notifier provider. Provider that also exists in provider library and only rebuilds listening widgets when notify listeners is called manually. I decided to go with change notifier provider for the readability. First, we create a file named theme provider. Then we create the a global provider. This will give us access to an instance of app theme state class, which looks like this. As you can see, we have one variable called is dark mode enabled, which represents our state, and two method with those we can adjust this state. Also, app theme state extends change notifier, which allows you to subscribe to its changes and call notify listeners method to rebuild the listening widgets. As next, we have to update our my app widget to listen to our app theme state notifier. We made my app extend from hook consumer widget, which is an alternative to consumer widget in order to be able to listen to change notifier, and it also reduces the boilerplate code we would otherwise need to write. Your IDE tool should already warn you about the second parameter the build method now needs, and that is widget ref. This parameter is used for injecting providers into your widget and watching for changes. The method we'll need to use here is watch. As the name implies, it watches for changes in the provider and the state of the notifier, reacting accordingly and changing the state that relies on this provider, in our case the theme mode property. So we added theme mode, which will decide by our app theme state if the theme will become light mode or dark mode. At the last step we need to adjust our switch widget to change our state for us. Here we watch the state, change the initial value for the switch widget, and set dark mode or light mode whether the user enables or disables the switch. That's basically all you need to do. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.